Hi, it's Corrine for Knitwit Collections, and today I have a really fun project to share with you. I have been working on this for about the last week and a half, and I will have a fast forward start to finish on how this album came together that I'll put in a different video in the next couple of days. I, I still need to edit it, but I'm using a new collection from Knitwit Collections called December Memoirs, and this is really fun to work with. Let me just go over um, the outside. The album itself, I believe, is eight and a half by eight and a half. Yeah, I did the covers eight and a half by eight and a half. I used chipboard and I did a binder ring style. The Christmas tree on the front, I used my favorite glitter paper. This is from the paper studio from Hobby Lobby, Glam Glitter. And this is my favorite one out of the entire collection, the silver. So I wanted to keep the cover extremely simple. So I cut this out from the Cameo and I also cut out from the DCWV collection the 2016. I used some Stampin' Up! Grow Grain ribbon that I've had in my stash for a long time for this spine, and the back is blank. So this um, album is my take on December Daily. I do not do a December Daily simply for two reasons. I don't like everything in page protect protectors. I do like them in there to give it some some. Um, different texture and contrast, but I don't like my entire album being inside of page protectors. That's number one. Number two, we just don't do enough in December to, to document something daily between work schedules. And my son is turning 18 next week. He is not home very often. So we don't do enough to document something every single day. And there's just too many other projects going on to um, work on this every day. So this is this is what I like to do instead of that. And this is a happy medium for me. So on the front cover, I wanted to, um, and this is going to be the first of two that I do. This one I did not make for myself. Um, I'm going to be making one for myself, but I want to wait until December is over and I have the photos printed out and can include them that way. So being that this one's not for myself, I went ahead and printed and cut out all the numbers that come in the December Memoirs collection. I'm using the bundled kit, so I'm using everything that comes in the kit, which is, if you're going to buy them out separate, by purchasing the bundle kit, it is cheaper by 20%. So it's a better way to go if you're going to be buying all the separate um, different elements to the kit. And also check the description box. I have a more detailed video on digital kits and how I work with them. This is a digital kit. So again, I cut and printed out all the different numbers. So if the person receiving this wants to add any of the numbers or anything like that to the pages, they have them all available along with lots of labels that come in the collection. This one says milk and cookies, naughty or nice. This is such a fun kit to work with. I can't even tell you. I love that they're all different. Like the number 30 comes like this, but yet the number seven is a circle. This one says favorite warm drink, December, our family's Christmas traditions, days till Christmas, hello, December, family memories. So these are great just to kind of add wherever the person wants to add them in the book. So to house all of these, I added a coin, a large coin envelope. My base, as you can see, is all done out of craft. I love the look of craft with this Christmas paper. So these will just be housed right in here so the person can just either add um, receipts in here um, or just keep these in here and pull them out as they need them. There we go. This is a large envelope, so this is gonna hold a lot of items. So I'll just keep those in there, wrap this around. And I wanted my album to be very eclectic. That's what I love. I love that idea about December Daily is that it's very different. But like I said, I don't want all of it to be page protectors. Um, I just prefer, you know, different uh, papers and cardstock throughout the album. So my first page is a glassine bag. And I tied some more of that grow grain ribbon, added a little snowman. I believe this is a Jolene sticker and some snowflakes that I had and I just added a few elements to the pocket. Here is some fabric paper, some We Are Making Memories polka dot paper. So 
So photos can be added on those. And here's a little journaling card. It says Christmas Eve is on the way. I just can't wait to see all the gifts this, that Santa's left for me and my family. So that just text right in here. Again, photos, journaling can be added. Dates can be put on each of these. The second page is the December calendar that comes in the collection. You can make it as small as you want or as large as you want. I wanted to make it the same height of the book. So my pages, the largest that my pages are being that my um, binder ring is on the side are seven and a half by eight, but I made sure to make all different sizes throughout. I added some of this Christmas looking trim, this gold trim that I've had in my stash, and then some of the pearl stars from Wild Orchid Crafts. Those are some of my favorite to use. So dates can be circled or notes can be written on this or it can just be left for decoration. On the back, I used a large photo mat. I believe this is a five by five and it's left open so it can be tucked under this. Some more of that ribbon, a craft bow and a cabochon. I added some snowflakes from the collection. And on this side, and by the way, the binder that I use, the binder rings, I bought a small binder that I think I paid about $1.50 from Walmart strictly so I could have these binder rings for a project. I, I normally use the Tim Holtz ones, but I, the large ones only have two rings and I wanted it to be longer to hold it, hold more and be a little bit more steady. So when I saw this binder at Target, I knew I wanted it just for this and it, I easily ripped it out and, and made my own binder with it. Again, if you're interested in the start to finish, I'll put a link down in the description box once that video is available. I'll add that in the description box and you can see how I, how I made this album. So this here, I got the Fuse tool, which I had been wanting for a long time, but I went ahead and ordered it when I ordered this um, December Memoirs collection from Knitwit Collections because I knew I wanted to add photo sleeves throughout the pocket. So here I just made a smaller one with a, I believe this is a four by four photo mat and it's left open so a photo can be placed right on top, some journaling. This is from a Cosmo Cricut um, Christmas stack. It's a C is for Christmas, another bow with an enamel dot in the center. On the back I use some um, stickers. I believe these are pink paisley stickers. I'm not quite sure. They're fabric stickers and it says us with an arrow that comes in the collection and another photo mat. Here I use some clear cardstock and some foil paper and I made my own see-through foil paper just by cutting half inch strips, gluing them down and gluing them to match along the back. I think this is a perfect Christmas paper. I used these wreaths that I've had in my stash for a long time. I believe these are Jolie's stickers and I made sure to just add them back to back so you don't see the back side. And then these here, um, I, I'm not sure. I think these are by making, we're making memories, I believe. They are metal tags. This one says Christmas, this one says ho, ho, ho. And I used some glitter paper that I had in my stash along with these snowflakes from Wild Orchid Crafts and these beautiful flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. These are so pretty. They're found in their Christmas section. So I did the same thing on the back so photos can be placed. Here I made my own little photo sleeve with three by three um, mats. Actually these are three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So a three by three photo will fit perfectly on the front and back of these photo mats. I added a little gingerbread house that I had in my stash and some of this snow looking iridescent material and then I sealed this pocket up so it it holds that in there like kind of like a shaker but all of these come out so the photos can be placed on them and same with on the back so just here alone can be six photos so this is going to hold a lot of photos this here I used some vellum that I had in my stash for a long time I made a shaker out of it this shaker material I got from the dollar store and it's so pretty it has gold and silver stars along with blue and white snowflakes and then some of that same iridescent snow-like um, material and I printed this Merry Christmas out from sorry about the glare I printed this Merry Christmas out from the from my printer and ran it through my laminator with silver deco foil and I love the look of it it's just it just serves as a decoration um, I guess numbers can be placed on her photo if they want, but it's just served as a decoration. And I did seal it in some um, photo 
transparency paper, I mean. So here, this comes from the collection. I did back it so it's sturdy with some pattern paper, but this one is December, our family traditions, and there's a list that you can check off or a list of things to do. I added some of these stars from Wild Orchid Crafts. And again, I purposely made it smaller. I wanted all different sizes throughout this album. On the back, a photo can be placed, but I just left it as a tree that comes in the collection with one of those um, pearl stars on the top. On this side, I made a beautiful bracket pocket. And again, using some of the pattern paper, I added the word believe. I have this in my stash. And then these poinsettia flowers, along with these leaves and sprays, come in the collection. So I added those on pop dots, some white enamel dots. And this little tag where a date can be placed or written on comes in the collection. And to this pocket, I added tons of journaling spots for photos, journaling, different things that, that were done in the month of December. All of this comes in the collection. This is, that's a wrap. What I think is a great idea is maybe take a picture of all your wrapped presents under the tree, add that to the back. Here's one of the trees that I just cut out. Our family's favorite Christmas movies. Again, a picture of the DVDs would be a great thing to add to the back of this. This one says my wish list, so you can write your wish list for a loved one. I back that on some cardstock. Here I made a four by six journaling card with an Allie Edwards stamp that says Christmas wish. And then there is a small Christmas shopping list. This comes in the collection. It says name, gift idea, purchased, wrapped. So it's a great way to keep in your purse and take it along with you. Great way to write down your ideas. And then here's one of the paint chips that come in the collection. I think this is great just, just for decoration, if nothing else, or journaling can be written on the back. It says most wonderful time of the year, and it has the different um, samples of the that come in the collection. As far as this Christmas lift I, list idea, I did make another one in the back of the book, a larger one, which I'll show you in a moment. So these have just tucked a ton in here. And I like that this is on binder rings so things can be taken out and put back in or things can be added as well. So on this side I did a large photo mat. These, this little elf legs that I had in my stash I had tucked under this. I used some enamel dots. I used one of the labels that's left open here so the photo can slide under and it says believe in the magic. This one here says no peeking. And then three of the stockings that come in the collection. I glued them down on the top but I popped them up down here to give them some dimension. I made another little sleeve that um, can be taken out so a photo can be added in here in journaling. This is another Allie Edwards stamp. It says, Oh Christmas Tree. I punched out some stars from that same red foil paper that I have. This is a, I believe it's Making Memories journaling stamp. I stamped it with some VersaFine black ink. Great to add a little um, journaling spot. And then it says, Lovely Weather for a Slade Ride Together with You. I added that, I had that in my stash, added that on some of the pattern paper. Here I used some more of that beautiful clear cardstock and I added the Merry and Bright. This I had in my stash and I used some vinyl. Again, just for decoration, I think this is so pretty in there. This here is a Seven Gypsies chipboard piece and I traced it out on the pattern paper, cut it out, glued it down. This is a really thick top note piece. I got this from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I added some photo mats, a bow, some more of those beautiful poinsettia flowers, Christmas tree, and some enamel dots. So there's lots of room in here for photos. So again, same thing on the back, different poinsettia flowers with some more of these sprays, a tree, and then here we have a Dear Santa, so you can write your letter to Santa. I back that with another photo mat, this beautiful label that comes in the collection along with these trees. On this side I made a little shaker pocket. I added another Cosmo Cricut um, Dear Santa. This December 25th, it's I believe it's a um, 3 by 4 card. I punched out one of those foil stars. And on the other side, I used some more of those fabric letters. It says Jolly with some stars that I cut from chipboard and used some of this uh, Ranger Liquid Platinum embossing powder. And I embossed them 
and stuck those in there. This one here says, have a holly jolly Christmas. Santa Claus is coming to town. Those are some Allie Edwards digital stamps. And then I use some of that making memories, polka dot paper, clear paper in the back. On this side, I did another photo mat with another label so a date can be placed. Another beautiful poinsettia flower from Wild Orchid Crafts. And then this is a Jolie's Christmas tree with some ornaments. And this border I've had in my stash a long time, it says snow. On the back side, this is a large photo mat. It's left open so it can be tucked under another label. A um, tag, sticker tag that I had in my stash. I added some of that fun Christmas trimming to it, some enamel dots. And then this comes in the collection. So this is great to add a photo on the back or journaling. I just have that tucked in here. In the collection, they have um, these photo frames, which I think is just such a great idea. So little photos can be placed in here. And this is left open, so it's easy to take out, add the photos inside of there. So you can have three family photos there. And then on the back as well, there's circular photos. So these will be perfect for probably two by two photos. On this side, I had some of this fabric Christmas um, gift paper. I love the feel of it. It's fabric. So I added a, I didn't want to cover too much of it up. So I added a large photo mat, some of these photo corners from Wild Orchid Crafts, which are beautiful. And then I added some trimming that I had in my stash along with this red trimming to the side. On the back, another photo mat. These corners um, will, you'll be able to slip a photo in there. Some of the beautiful flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. And they're there's a few of these snowflakes, again from Wild Orchid Crafts, this gorgeous trimming, and this here says Season's Greetings. I have another place for six photos for the front and the back that I made in my own little photo sleeve, and here I made a shaker card using a present from the collection. And on this side, I used an ornament from the collection. Again, I used a lot of those stars that I got, and on this side, I used sequins. And this is closed off to make a shaker card. And on these, I used, I have to glue this one back on. I used some um, of this same glitter paper and made my own whole reinforcements, just mostly for looks. On this side, I have a postcard, which I think is such a neat idea. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Have Santa and the postcard. On the back, I made it into a photo mat, used a couple of the labels from the collection. On this side, I have another photo mat with some of these beautiful poinsettia flowers and a couple of the little labels from the collection. I also use some stars from Wild Orchid Crafts. And on the last page, another large photo mat, a couple of the trees, some enamel dots, a larger label that says Merry Christmas. I added some of this gorgeous on the front and the back, small uh, organza rose trimming from Wild Orchid Crafts. And to the back, I made a large pocket. I used some of this um, ribbon in my stash. I added some beautiful lace from Wild Orchid Crafts. As you can see, some of the poinsettia flowers, some enamel. There are actually tons in here. So there's actually two pockets. There's one here and one here. To the top pocket is where I added that larger Christmas shopping list front and back. So there's lots of rooms or excuse me, lots of lines for the Christmas list. I added another postcard in case um, someone wanted to have somebody else fill it out separately. This here, it says Christmas cookies. Great for a photo on the back for Christmas cookies. Christmas dinner, same thing. Our family stockings would be a great place to add a photo. Our favorite carols great to, to list down your favorite music you like listening to and then this is just a card that says have you been naughty or nice and then this here which is a great idea added a few christmas holiday special recipes because i know we all have different things that we cook just during christmas i have things i, I cook or bake only during christmas so i'm going to add those when i make my own on these as well and these these also would be great too if you go to a cookie exchange to write down your cookie recipe and give that with um, your cookies. So again, this is my December documented. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I will link the full start to finish. It's probably going to be a long video in the description box. Check out the description box for a link to Knitwit Collections where you'll find this 
awesome collection. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.